Many of your supporters call themselves 9-11 truthers. They believe that the U.S. government was in some way complicit with the 9-11 attacks or covered it up. Are you tonight prepared to either embrace that rhetoric or ask those supporters to abandon it or divorce themselves from your candidacy? Well, I can't tell people what to do, but I've abandoned those viewpoints. I don't believe that, and that's all. That's the only thing that is important. And so I don't endorse anything they say, but I would like to take an opportunity to talk about the issue that we've been debating here for the last 20 minutes. Sir, would you, ask them to cease that would you ask them to cease that rhetoric tonight on your behalf? Well, it doesn't do me any good, so if they care about me, they should. But the only thing I have control over is what I believe and what I say. I can't tell them what to do. So I don't endorse what they say, and I don't believe that. So please, could I participate in the current debate rather than picking this out? Please do. Please do. No, I would like to address the subject about uh, whether or not uh, we've lost our way and whether there's a coalition building uh, or whether it's gone. I think it's gone. I don't think we're fiscal conservatives anymore. Look at what we've done over these last 10 years. We finally got control of the government and we became big government people. Uh, our deficit's out of control and uh, we, we no longer are, are opposed to new entitlements. We are entitlement people. And, and then we turn around and we talk about liberty and we've undermined the Fourth Amendment and personal liberty and personal privacy. In the year 2000, we won the election by condemning the Democrats for nation building and policing the world. And, and, and now, what are we doing? We're policing the world. We're involved in all these countries around the world and threatening going into Iran and in Pakistan and on and on. At the same time, our economy is suffering to the point where we can't even finance what we have here today. We have to borrow from the Chinese and the dollar is crashing. So no wonder our coalition is, is breaking up. We actually have lost our way. Now, over the years, I've never voted to spend one penny of the Social Security Fund because I'm a fiscal conservative. If you want the Social Security system to work, get people who will vote against robbing the Social Security Fund. Thank you, Congressman Paul. It is time for a break, but when we come back, we're going to take a look at the